Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of June Group Fireside Chats. I'm Adam cohen Azladi, Head of Marketing for June Group. I'm here today with Josh Forney from Helix. Hi Josh, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Well, it's pretty good. Nice day today. Tell me, so what do you do at Helix? So I'm one of the uh, directors overseeing planning for the agency. Um, so it encompasses a number of tasks throughout the day, but uh, that's, that's my title. Um, and in terms of kind of what I do, um, really kind of tasked with taking a brand strategy and bringing it to life through their, through their media plans and media execution. Tell me, what are some of the unique challenges that you face on a daily basis working in the prescription drugs area? In pharma, there's, there's obviously uh, a few big challenges. One, it's, it's one of the more regulated um, types of industries. So uh, with regards to communication, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in terms of vetting ideas and content. It goes through a, a number of internal kind of stakeholders, including you know, MLR and, and PRC, mm -hmm. um, to, to make sure everything is compliant. Um, outside of that, there it's one of the industries too that just has so many different stakeholders. So I think taking into account all the different needs um, of those stakeholders and you know kind of what role you can play is is something that's really crucial to, to thinking about the consumer journey. How are you using data today, both for targeting and both for sort of understanding the back end metrics and the goals? Yeah. So I mean, I think. Data today is like the, the, the new currency. Yeah. You know, every campaign is grounded in data. There's more data available now than there has ever been before. But I think a part of the challenge is what is the right data to use? Really kind of looking into the different sources of data and understanding where it's coming from, mm -hmm. how it's collected, um, what value is there. So it helps us from a targeting perspective to make sure that we're reaching the right type of person that we want to reach, whether that's based on health interest or, or kind of it could be personal or or behavioral interest that they exhibit. And then from the from the measurement front, you know, we have the opportunity now to understand what's working um, quicker than we ever have in the past. But I think it, it's having the right discipline with that data to make sure that you're not necessarily being too reactive. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to make sure that you have a large enough data set to really kind of inform um, insights and, and take those insights and, and be able to action them. Is there a technology that you're excited for in 2018 when, with respect to testing for, for the pharma space? Yeah, I mean, I think overall it's, it's interesting to see health become a much larger part of a lot of the larger tech companies' platforms. Um, so, you know, I think Uber this year rolled out Uber Health. Um, Amazon has invested significant yeah. funds in, in kind of the health space, same thing with Google. So I think you're starting to see this prominence of, of health, you know, kind of being one of the next hot topic areas. Mm -hmm. You know, I think health is just playing a much more pivotal role in people's lives mm -hmm. and really kind of, you know, I think with uh, the younger generations mm -hmm. um, being much more proactive about your health and not relying necessarily on a physician mm -hmm. um, as your sole source of information sure. on, your, on your health. So I think it's, it's consumers taking a more active role in their health, better managing that, and ultimately learning more about themselves and, mm -hmm. and kind of the, the impacts of that. So I think um, technology like the, the wearables and, and things like that have really interesting ways to collect all that data. You talked that we talked about data a little bit earlier. There's all these additional sources of data now and markers uh, to, to really kind of identify unique patterns or activities that we could consider leveraging for our campaign. Well, I'm very excited for 2018. I hope you are too. Josh, thank you so much for sitting down with me today, and it was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Take care.